Funding for Wild America is provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by the financial support of viewers like you. I'm Marty Stauffer. Hard as it is for me to believe, it's been 10 years since Wild America opened the book on a new era of wildlife filmmaking, one that would celebrate America's rich natural heritage. Join me as we take a loving look back at the first 10 years. For most animals, life is a race for survival. To keep pace, I've had to learn a thing or two about get up and go.
Of course, sometimes you've just got to hunker down. For most shots, there's no substitute for preparation, patience, and, well, just plain hard work. But if you've done your homework, you know where to look. And a little sweat is a small price to pay for the chance to look in on a kingfisher family. These chicks are hungry, but still too young to fend for themselves. It isn't every day you see a mother kingfisher bringing home the bacon, which for a kingfisher is actually a minnow. At first, she's a bit shy, but then she relaxes and begins to feed the young. When looking for other creatures, like western diamondback rattlesnakes, no digging is required. Just a stick and plenty of curiosity about snakes. The most poisonous American reptile, diamondbacks congregate in caves to hibernate and stay warm in winter. Their concentrations are so high that the whole floor seems to rattle and slither. I'd read accounts of a mysterious diamondback mating ritual, a snake dance. The dance is so rare that no one had ever caught it on film until the day I found myself exploring this cave in Oklahoma. Exploring beneath the surface takes a bit more gear. When my brother Marshall, David Huey and I went up to Yellowstone Lake to film cutthroat trout, we needed literally tons of equipment. To get a look at the mysteries of the underwater world. Ever wonder what looks tasty to a trout? Fly fishermen know. Stonefly nymphs. Trout will eat these little critters by the dozen. I was surprised to find that I could even feed the fish by hand. Wherever I turned, a new wonder was revealed. When I was not filming underwater, Greg Hensley and I helped Marshall prepare his unique balloon cam, Wild America's own version of the Goodyear blimp. Okay, you need to get right over here. Balloon cam promised a new angle on this hot spring, provided it didn't boil itself in the process. Gotta let it go up on its own right here. Ready? You hang on to it. Pick it up again right there. From over here? Well, no. I just...
New angles are what the magic of film is all about. Here's some examples of which we're the proudest. By filming registered scenes at the same location throughout the year, the seasons change right before our eyes. Just as we can speed time up, we can also slow it down. What's magic is not that we invent new images, but that the camera lets us see what's been there all along. Everything from the wild, to the weird, to the beautiful. The lessons of life start early for wild babies, whether in a school of hard knocks or guided by parental concern. See the tree? Can't see anything. You can't. Okay, wait. You see that cliff right there? Yeah. Look over by the tree. I don't see anything, Dad. You don't? Well, look again. Do you see what's under the tree? No. Oh, let's see. Okay, now do you see the tree? You see what's under it? Yeah. What is it? Tigers. No, not tigers. Cougars. Hmm. Cougars. Look, it's a mom and her three babies. They're really cute, too.
whether running around in circles, attempting leapfrog, or riding piggyback, a tiring regimen of exuberant play, careful experimentation, and adult encouragement teaches the lessons needed for life as an adult. Baby. Perhaps the baby. most precious gift of youth is a sense of wonder. My children, Hannah and Luke, are naturally curious about this baby cottontail and ready to love it as though it were one of their own. Courtship can take place on any limb or ledge, in voices soft or loud. Mating dances are as diverse and colorful as the animals themselves. Of course, reproduction is only half the story of success. Conflicts arise. An animal must kill or starve, escape or perish. Often the question is black and white.
Sometimes one animal's conflict can lead to another's lunch. With its tough fur and hide, this black bear suffers stings only on its nose, a price it's willing to pay for a little honey. The bees may not like it, but it's tough to argue with a bear. For an opportunistic Martin, there's nothing to argue about. It merely waits for the right moment. Life is sweet. It's a simple lesson, but one I've learned over and over in the first 10 years. And as for the next 10 years, well, we've been putting our heads together on this. We'll continue to travel far and wide in the coming decade, from deserts to plains to mountains and all points in between. There's plenty of ground to cover. We're after the big picture, one that reflects the beauty of our entire continent. I can't wait, whether stalking armadillo in a palmetto jungle or foxes in a pumpkin patch. It's never long until the action soars.
the adventure continues, and you're invited. Come on along. Hey, skunky, skunky. We'll go places no one has ever been and see things no one has ever seen. I'm Marty Stauffer. Until next time, enjoy our wild America. Funding for Wild America is provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by the financial support of viewers like you. This is PBS.